Hello. Today I'll be talking about Alakazam, the final evolution of Abra, who evolves into Kadabra, who evolves into Alakazam, either by trading or, or by being exposed to a linking cord. Its past PYC dates are May 1st, 1996, February 20th, 1999, December 11th, 2001, October 1st, 2004, July 23rd, 2007, May 13th, 2010, March 3rd, 2013, December 23rd, 2015, October 30th, 2018, and August 3rd, 2021. As I've mentioned over the last two days, I like the names of Alakazam, Abra, and Kadabra. I also like that Alakazam and Mega Alakazam add more spoons from Kadabra. Let's get into the Bulbapedia article. I should warn you, for the first part of the section, I have my long hair still. It will then cut to me with the short hair. Hello, and welcome to the Bulbapedia section of the video. Today, we'll be talking about Alakazam, the Psy Pokemon, whose number is 0065. So, this is Alakazam, this is what it looks like. This is Mega Alakazam, this is what it looks like. Its type is Psychic. As normal, Alakazam, it's Synchronize or Inner Focus. Uh, its hidden ability, regardless, seems to be Magic Guard. And Trace is Mega Alakazam's um, ability. Gender ratio is 75% male and 25% female. Catch rate is 50 or 12.9%. Breeding is a group human-like. Hatch time is 20 cycles. As Alakazam, it's 411 or 1.5 meters and 105.8 pounds or 40 kilograms. That's the same for Mega Alakazam. That's its weight. For Mega Alakazam, it's actually shorter somehow uh, at 311 um, and 1.2. I guess Maybe because it's sitting, they don't count that as part of the height? I don't know. Megastone is Alakazite. Should it be Alakazamite? Because wasn't it Bulbasaurite? For Bul for Mega Bulbasaur? And Charizardite for Mega Charizard? What? That's really weird. All the ones to be like, no, that's too far. Like, that's too silly of a name for a stone, for a Megastone. That's very weird. Maybe Alakazamite, maybe that's something? Like, maybe it's copyrighted or something, I don't know. Or an actual stone, I don't know. Base experience yield, uh, 186. The first four gens are 225 and five plus. Leveling rate is medium slow. EV yield is three, and special attack. Shape is that, footprint is that. Pokedex color is brown. Uh, I don't entirely agree with that. Base friendship is 70. Alakazam is a psychic type Pokemon introduced in Gen 1. It evolves from Kadabra when traded or when exposed to a linking cord. It is the final form of Abra. Alakazam can mega evolve into Mega Alakazam using Alakazite. Biology. Alakazam is a slightly humanoid Pokemon with a large mustache. A female Alakazam has a slightly shorter mustache than a male. It has a long, thin snout, narrow eyes, ear-like spikes extending from at the top of its head, and an additional spike protruding from each cheek. Covering its yellow, skeletal body are brown, armor-like sections over its chest, shoulders, forearms, and knees. There are also three toes on each foot, each of which has a white claw. Two of the toes face forward, and while one faces backwards, it wields a silver spoon in each hand, which acts as amplifiers for its psychic abilities. The spoons are created using its psychic powers, and it may give one to someone it trusts. Alakazam is able to use all forms of psychic abilities. The overflow of its psychic powers can cause headaches to those nearby. These powers are used to move its body, as opposed to its weak muscles. It also uses its psychic powers to hold up its head, which is too heavy to be supported by its neck. Due to its continually growing brain, its head becomes larger with age. It is said to have an excellent memory and can remember everything that it has experienced since hatching as an Abra. Oh. Okay. To the time of its death. It has an IQ that exceeds 5,000. It is found in urban areas. Alakazam and its pre-evolved form, Kadabra, are the only known Pokemon capable of learning the move Kinesis. Forms. Alakazam can Mega Evolve into Mega Alakazam. As Mega Alakazam, its mustache turns white and becomes longer and bushier. It also grows a long white beard. The armor-like sections become bulkier, and its upper body section becomes slightly shorter to reveal its thin stomach. The ear-like spikes become slightly shorter, and a larger spike forms on top of its head. Additionally, it gains an oval red organ in the center of its forehead. The organ is said to emit psychic power. Its lower legs become longer and slimmer, and its feet become skinnier and resemble talons. It gains three additional spoons, for a total of five that it levitates in the air. At the cost of its already low muscular strength, Mega Alakazam's power, 
It is entirely converted to pure psychic energy. It can read the course of a person's entire life with a single glance. Evolution, Alakazam evolves from Kadabra and is the final form of Abra. So you can see that here. So Abra, Kadabra, Alakazam. Game data, MVC appearances. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Red Rescue Team, and Blue Rescue Team. Alakazam is the leader of Team Act, a gold rank rescue team. He is already a great leader, but strives to better himself further to be like his hero, Lucario. He also tells the player about a whirlwind near the legendary island. After the player recruits Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, unlocking access to Silver Trench. Pokedex entries in Gen 1, in red and blue. Its brain can outperform a supercomputer. Its intelligence quotient is said to be 5,000. Yellow. A Pokemon that can memorize anything. It never forgets what it learns. That's why this Pokemon is smart. Stadium. A Pokemon that uses psychic power. It is highly intelligent and capable of instantly identifying its foe's weakness. In Gen 2. In gold. Closing both its eyes heightens all its other senses. This enables it to use its abilities to their extremes. Silver. Its brain cells multiply continually until it dies. As a result, it remembers everything. Crystal. It has an IQ of 5,000. It calculates many things in order to gain the edge in every battle. Stadium 2 is just golds again. In Gen 3, Ruby. Alakazam's brain continually grows, making its head far too heavy to support with its neck. This Pokemon holds its head up using its psychokinetic power instead. Sapphire. Alakazam's brain continually grows, infinitely multiplying brain cells. This amazing brain gives this Pokemon an astoundingly high IQ of 5,000. It has a thorough memory of everything that has occurred in the world. Emerald, while it has strong psychic abilities and eye intelligence, and Alakazam's muscles are very weak. It uses psychic power to move its body. Fire Red, it does not like physical attacks very much. Instead, it freely uses extrasensory powers to defeat foes. Leaf Green, its brain can outperform a supercomputer. Its IQ, intelligence quotient, is said to be around 5,000. In Gen 4 and Diamond, its superb memory lets it recall everything it has experienced from birth. Its IQ exceeds 5,000. Pearl. Its highly developed brain is on par with a supercomputer. It can use all forms of psychic abilities. Platinum. The spoons clutched in its hands are said to have been created by its psychic powers. Heart Gold and Soul Silver are their gold and silver counterparts. The Gen 5 Pokedex entries are Platinums. In Gen 6, X is the silver entries. Y is red and blues again. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, their Ruby and Sapphire counterparts. In Gen 7, for the normal uh, Alakazam. Sun. It is said to have an IQ of approximately 5,000. Its overflowing psychokinetic powers cause headaches to anyone nearby. Moon. Its brain cells continue to increase in number until its death. The older the Alakazam, the larger its head. Ultra Sun. Alakazam uses its psychic powers to make the spoons it carries. Each spoon is an original that there's only one of in the whole world. Ultra Moon. If it trusts someone deeply, it will let them have one of its spoons. Anything you eat with that spoon is apparently delicious. The Let's Go games are Yellow's entry for Mega Alakazam and Sun. As a result of Mega Evolution, its power has been entirely converted into psychic energy, and it has lost all strength in its muscles. Moon, its hidden psychic power has been unleashed. A glance at someone gives it knowledge of the course of that person's life, from birth to death. Ultra Sun, it sends out psychic power from the red organ on its forehead to foresee its opponent's every move. Ultra Moon, having treated away its muscles, Alakazam's true power has been unleashed. With its psychic power, it can foresee all things. In the Let's Go games, it's adept at precognition. When attacks completely miss Alakazam, that's because it's seeing the future. In Gen 8, in Sword, it has an incredibly high level of intelligence. Some say that Alakazam remembers everything that ever happens to it from birth till death. In S.H.I.E.L.D., Alakazam wields potent psychic powers. It's said that this Pokemon used these powers to create the spoons it holds. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are their Diamond and Pearl counterparts. Legends Arceus, the longer Alakazam lives, the larger and heavier its head becomes. Our tests have shown that the strength of its psychic powers correlate positively with to the weight of its head. So here's Alakazam in the Alola Pokedex, and here's Mega Alakazam in the Alola Pokedex. Cool. Um, 
Okie dokie. I guess it also loses the... Okay. Anyway. So game locations. Uh, side game locations. Events. Held items. Pokemon caught in Gen 1 must be traded to a Gen 2 game in order for a held item to appear. Pokemon Emerald. Alakazam can be found in the Battle Frontier. In red, blue, and yellow, you get a Goldberry 100% of the time. In Emerald, you get a Twisted Spoon 5% of the time. In Black 2 and White 2, you get a Loomberry 100% uh, of the time. It's an in-game trade. Sword and Shield. You get a Twisted Spoon, uh, Expansion Path Required 5% of the time. Legends Arceus, normal, a Hoppo Berry 30% of the time. 15% uh, Spoiled Apricorn. Uh, grit Items by Level. Alpha, you get an EXP Candy L 100% of the time. Seed of Mastery, 40% of the time, and Grid Items by Level. Stats, base stats for this. Uh, we're gonna compare Alakazam, um, here, these two, and then we'll compare this one with this one, and then somehow we'll compare, I guess there's another changed in Gen 7, I think. Um, how, the distribution here. Gen 1 through 5, and 6 onward, okay. Uh, so eight, HP 55, that stays the same. Attack 50, that stays the same. Defense 45, that stays the same. Special attack 135, that stays the same. Special defense 85, that goes up to 95. Uh, speed 120, that stays the same. So it goes from a total of 490 to a total of 500. In the Gen 125 Fox here, we've got a note. This Pokemon special base stat in Gen 1 was 135. Gen 6 onwards with what it was from again, so 55, you know, we'll just compare all three. 55 across the board, 50 across the board, defense 45, defense 65, those two stay the same. Uh, special attack 135, that goes up to 175, that stays the same. Defense 95, that stays the same, and goes up to 105 in Gen 7 um, for Mega Alakazam. So speed 120, that goes up to 150, that stays the same, so it goes from total of 500, total of 590, and that goes from... 590 to 600. Pokathon stats. Type effectiveness. It's damaged normally by normal, flying, poison, ground, rock, steel, fire, water, grass, electric, ice, dragon, and fairy. Weak to bug, ghost, and dark for double. Immune to nothing, resistant to fighting, and psychic for half. Notes in Gen 1, the effectiveness of ghost type moves is zero. So from zero to two. For learn sets, by leveling up in Sword and Shield and Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, we'll go down to... 16 because you can hypothetically have a level 16 alakazam because it's just a trade um so 20 psycho cut 25 recover 30 psy shock 35 psychic 40 role play 45 future sight and 50 calm mind legends arceus so we'll go down to a uh, psycho cut here i guess level 18 psycho cut masters it at level 28 uh learns Zen Headbutt at 25 and Masters it at 35. Recover learns at 34, but uh, Masters it at 45. And Psychic it learns at 43, but Masters it at 54. For TM slash TR, we're skipping that. Yep. Skipping that. Yep, yep, yep. By Breeding, we're skipping. Yep, yep, yep. By Tutoring and Sword and Shield. So, you, in the Expansion Pass, you can get Expanding Force, which is a special Psychic type move. Um... Power is 80, Excel accuracy is 100, and PV <laughs> is 10. In Legends Arceus, you can get Calm Mind, Charge Beam, Dazzling Gleam, Drain Punch, Energy Ball, Fire Punch, Giga Impact, Hyper Beam, Ice Punch, Iron Tails, Psychic, Psycho Cut, Rest, Shadow Ball, Swift, Thunder Punch, Tri Attack, and Zen Headbutt. Nothing by Prior Evolution. By Transfer from Another Generation. Uh, from 2 to 7, you can get Barrier, that doesn't work anymore. 1, you get Bide, that doesn't work anymore. 4, Captivate, that doesn't work anymore. 4 through 7, you can get Charge Beam. 6 and 7, you can get Confide. 1 and 3, you can get Counter. 2, you can get Curse. 1, 2, and 7, you can get Dig. Uh, 1 through 7, you can get Double Team. 1 and 3, you can get Double Edge. 2 through 7, you can get Dream Eater. 2 and 3, you can get Dynamic Punch. 4 through... Seven, you can get Embargo, that doesn't work anymore. One, two, and four through seven. You can get Flash, that doesn't work anymore. In three, four, six, and seven, you can get Focus Punch. In two through seven, you can get Frustration, that doesn't work anymore. In four through seven, you can get Gravity. Two, four, and seven, you can get Headbutt. From two through seven, you can get Hidden Power, that doesn't work anymore. Three through seven, you can get Knockoff. 
7, you can get Laser Focus. 1 and 3, you can get Mimic. In 4 through 7, you can get Miracle Eye. In 4, you can get Natural Gift. Both of those don't work anymore. 7, you can get Nightshade. 2 and 3, you can get Nightmare. That doesn't work anymore. 4 through 7, you can get Power Trick. 2 through 7, you can get Psych Up. 6 and 7, you can get Psycho Shift. 1, you can get Psy Wave and Rage, neither of which work anymore. 4 through 7, you can get Recycle. 2 through 7, you can get Return. That doesn't work anymore. 3, 4, and 6, you can get Secret Power. That doesn't work anymore. 3 and 7, you can get Seismic Toss. 3, 4, 6 and 7, you can get Shock Wave. 3 through 7, you can get Signal Beam. That doesn't work anymore. 1, you can get Skull Bash. 3 through 7, you can get Snatch. That doesn't work anymore. 1, you can get Submission. 2 through 7, you can get Swagger. 1, you can get Takedown. 5 through 7, you can get Telekinesis, that doesn't work anymore. 3 through 7, you can get Torment. 1 through 7, you can get Toxic. And 2, you can get Zap Cannon. TCG only moves, you can get Confused Ray from this card. I don't know why it's purple. Um, Side game data. In Pokemon Ranger, Shadows of Olmia. In the browser entry, it warps around to move. It attacks by letting loose strange orbs. Look at all this. Yep. Mega Alakazam. This will be important for later in the video. Form data, Mega Evolution. Um, so Alakazam with Alakazite, you get Mega Alakazam. Evolution data. Alakazam evolves from Kadabra when traded in Pokemon Legends Arceus. It can also evolve from Kadabra when exposed to a linking cord. So you got all this. I did this before. Got sprites here, so you can see how... Okay, there's no brown at all. Um... These first few the spoons are also like gold almost. Um, this one kind of has more of the brown. So this one was obviously made for this one. But you can see how it kind of still has that basic shape though um, for the brown parts. Um, yeah. It's a lot thinner in the head. You can see it thicker there. Each of the pieces kind of come together. The, this the mustache. Oh, the mustache definitely changes from these two. It becomes much more like that. I guess really more like this. I mean, it might change a little bit as time goes on. So it's now kind of a gold here with brown. So that means that's an army green with a purple. Um, yep. And the spoons are now white, I guess. Um, now they're kind of gray, I guess. Gray and white. But yeah, now we get the proper colors in Gen 3. So now this is sort of a darker brown, or, or just kind of, yeah, kind of a brownish yellow, uh, and this is purple still. Um, yep. The mustache gets thinner. Probably a lot of it gets more streamlined. Now we get kind of more silver spoons here, more gray spoons anyway. Um, yeah, it kind of becomes more silver as time goes on. Yep. Not much changes. Here's the shorter mustache for the females. Um, yep. Let's see that with the shiny. Black and white. Anything important with the back sprites? Not really. I mean, these just become kind of one smooth thing. I guess it wasn't smooth in Gen 3. Really wasn't smooth here either, huh? Oh, uh, interesting. But, yep. Then you got Mega Alakazam now, and it's shiny as purple. That makes sense, I guess. Whatever the highlights are purple or whatever. Nothing different with the spoon. And I guess it's a little bit darker. Yeah, because it gets paler, the Mega. So it gets yeah, closer to that. Kind of difference in yellows here. Oh yeah, it changes to yellow, doesn't it? I didn't even notice that. So yeah, it becomes sort of a darker yellow in Gen 4. The shiny. Um, yep. So these 3D models, I didn't even like, mention. Like, uh, I mean, they're, it's kind of a darker brown there. but It's pretty good, uh, you know. From what they have technology wise, you know. Yep, got all these. And let's go Pikachu, yep. Mm -hmm. And then, yep, Legends Arceus. Got the silver spoons, you yeah. uh, got all these, yep. Okay, and the anime, Alakazam in the anime. Mega Alakazam in the anime, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, Pokedex entries in episode 72. In Ash's Pokedex, Alakazam, a side Pokemon, 
This Pokemon uses psychic attacks to overcome its opponents. In episode 27 of Diamond and Pearl, in Dawn's Pokedex, Alakazam, the Psy Pokemon, and the evolved form of Kadabra, with a brain like a supercomputer, it possesses many different supernatural powers. So, okay, a Pokemon Origins, so Alakazam fighting a Scyther in Pokemon Origins. Um, then we've got Pokemon Generations, Alakazam using a move here in Pokemon Generations. Some psychic powers, I guess. In the manga, we got Alakazam in Pokemon Adventures, Mega Alakazam in Pokemon Adventures. Yep. This. TCG. Trivia. Alakazam could be seen as a counterpart to Machamp. They are both the last stage of a three-part evolutionary family. They reach their final stage by trading, level up at a medium-slow rate, and they both have a 75% male gender ratio. Also, Alakazam excels at the special attack stat, while Machamp excels at attack. Their evolutionary families are also next to each other in the National Pokedex. Moreover, a girl in... Oraburg City will trade her Abra for a Machop. Additionally, their base friendship is the same as Ebony, and all Pokemon in both their respective evolutionary lines are in the human-like egg group. Finally, while Alakazam has a Mega Evolution, Machamp has a Gigantamax form. Alakazam could also be seen as a counterpart to Gengar. They are both the last stage of a three- part evolutionary family, which can only be achieved by trading. Both have Mega Evolutions, Gengar is weak to psychic moves, and Alakazam is weak against ghost moves. So they are weak and at the same time strong against each other. Uh, they have the same length, and both get smaller when they Mega Evolve. Their base friendship is also the same with 70. In the ancient puzzle of Pokemopolis, there are a Gengar and an Alakazam put against each other since Gen 6. They both have a base stat total of 500. Both are weak to dark type moves. They also have the same stat structure throughout their evolutions, always having high speed and special attack and being very low in physical defense, and still relatively low in special defense, HP and physical attack. Alakazam was the only Pokemon whose base stat total does not increase by exactly 100 points upon Mega Evolution, gaining instead only 90 points overall. This only applied to it in Gen 6 because Mega Alakazam received another 10 points in its special defense in Gen 7. Because some forms of Alakazam had its special defense raised in both Gen 6 and Gen 7, Alakazam is the only Pokemon whose base stats changed more than once after Gen 2. Alakazam has the lowest average performance of any fully evolved Pokemon. In Red and Blue, an Alakazam sent out by an opponent while the player's Pokemon has Low health will have the cry of a ghastly. In Heart Cold and Soul Silver, Alakazam is the same height as Ethan. Origin. Alakazam is based on a magician and also a spoonbender. It also shares similarities to foxes' animals, mythologically tied to magic. The combination of human body, horns, ties to magic, and a five pointed star shaped head similar to a pentagram makes it similar to Baphomet. As it created the spoons with its psychic powers, it may be based on the practice of alchemy and early science that sought to synthesize metals with magic. Its horns, talons, and long mustache are also reminiscent of Chinese dragons, which similarly are considered miraculous beings. Mega Alakazam is based on a sorcerer or wizard, or possibly status with psychic powers. Name Origin Alakazam's name is derived from Alakazam, an incantation used in stage magic similar to Abracadabra. Fooding might be named after Harry Houdini, a famed illusionist and escape artist. Here it is in other languages, related articles, external links. Yeah, let's move on. Now let's watch Alakazam's first scene in the anime. Hello and welcome to the anime portion of the video. Today we are watching Pokemon, the first movie, Mewtwo Strikes Back. In this film, uh, Giovanni has given Mewtwo here a suit, uh, to help him control his powers, or, yeah. Uh, and so we're about to see him fight, uh, an Alakazam. There's the Alakazam, presumably his trainer, so yeah, just take its powers, and... <laughs> that's it, that's Alakazam's first scene in the anime. Now let's see why people love Alakazam. Now let's look at fan art. Hello and welcome to the fan art section of the video. Nobody's not in fan art, so instead we're looking at DeviantArt fan art. 
For those of you who don't know how this works, what we do is we go through these images until we find an image that doesn't contain an Alakazam. So this first one is 065 Alakazam by Kuitsuku. Um, so it's this cool semi-stylized Alakazam here. They, you know, yeah, they're holding up the spoons and stuff, yeah. It's very cool. Then we've got Alakazam by all 0412. Um, so it's this Alakazam using their psychic powers to float the spoons and stuff. It's pretty cool. Alakazam Psy Shock by Ishmam. So I guess it's Psy, it's, I guess it's Alakazam doing the move Psy Shock. That's pretty cool to see, you know, it fling them around and stuff. It's, it's a cool art style. Um, and we've got Pokemon Reimagined Alakazam by The Greys. I guess it's from August 2019, as indicated here. Um, okay. So, the original. So, Alakazam Reimagined. That's the original. This is their, like, new version, how they would have done it. And then a, a shiny form for that. So then it's cranked up Dark Wizard theme, returned Kadabra Star, tongue to resemble Baphomet, ears more horn-like, added goatee, more vibrant colors. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's pretty cool. Then we've got 063 through 065 Abrali by In Progress Pokemon. We've done this the last two days, but we can go through it again if you haven't watched those videos. Um, so if you don't know what they do in Progress Pokemon, they put these in between uh, Pokemon as if it were aging up rather than um, metamorphizing like they do now. So got them. So we got the Abra here, and then it gets bigger. Those get pointier. The mustache starts to form. These lines start to form. This part starts to become more like these legs. The tail gets bigger. These become bigger as well. Um, so does the claws, they grow and the eyes start to open up. So then we got Kadabra, so for this, uh, the star and the lines start to fade. The brown on the arms and the, on the knees start to form. Uh, this becomes kind of more one thing. Uh, the mustache grows out more. Um, yep, and then you got Alakazam. This is not a Alakazam. So we'll move on. Thanks to everyone who submitted fan art. Normally, this is the part where I say I need to wait until I've talked about Snorlax before I can evolve Kadabra into Alakazam. But Kadabra needs to be traded to evolve into Alakazam. I'm using an emulator, which probably has a way to cheat, but I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm going to wait until I've completed Pokemon Diamond and get the Pal Park, so I can get it without trading. Because I can't get Mega Alakazam without trading, I'm going to have to wait until I've completed Pokemon X, play, Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. I know it's not really the same, but it's the best I can do. Tomorrow I'll be talking about Machop. As always, this isn't my proper outfit. You'll see me tomorrow.